Hey, are you working on the house? No. Oh, okay. Nice oh, cool. Yeah. Awesome. Here's a brochure for you. Okay. Thank you for stopping. Yeah. My name is Echo. Um, Pro-Nation is child abuse. So I'm out here protesting my personal abusers and alienators who live right here. They're my parents. I have a total of four children. So I have a total of four children. My younger three live with me. My, my oldest, he was taken from me by my parents back in 2004 when he was three years old. And he's 21 now, has nothing to do with me, nothing to do with his siblings. They have nothing to do with me, nothing to do with their only other grandchildren. They're abusers, they're alienators. They took my kid and Pearl Nation is a worldwide problem. 22 million people are affected by it. Look, that was the last birthday that I had with him. That's what I did here. I got visits with him and stuff. I got to see him. But my most current alienation, I haven't seen my kid in four years. He graduated um, South Salem High four years ago, and he's in Eugene at college. He could be graduating this year for all I know, but he doesn't talk to me. He doesn't tell me. They don't have a relationship with me, so he doesn't have a relationship. Right. Also, today is National Missing Children's Day. It happens to be the 40th anniversary. It's my 41st birthday, and it all ties into custodial interference. So. Not only do I come out here and protest my personal abusers and alienators to raise education, awareness, but I go to parks, I try to go to legislators, there's people who are trying to make laws because nothing's going to change if nothing changes. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I've been forced my whole life to uh, be quiet, I wasn't able to say nothing. Now that my son's of age, I can speak up. But there's so many like me who can't, don't, or won't. And. Um, most people hear about it from like their exes. It's like, you know, they get divorced and then their ex takes them. It's my whole family. Mother, brother, sister, um, brother, sister, aunts, uncles, the whole nine yards. And it's been almost two decades. And everybody would rather believe that I'm a crazy psycho bitch that should have had her kid taken than to think that they're just crazy. You know, the story that that basically happened to, to my, like, my parents. But my dad decided to leave the town where my the my uncles and aunts from my mom's side okay. they live yeah so they, he decided to bring us to salem so we didn't have any problems because they, they don't like my dad but even to today they don't like my dad mm. and uh, is there a good reason no just because uh they like to get into family into each other's uh problems family problems they don't they don't let you live the life with mm -hmm. your family mm -hmm. so that's why my dad decided to come to salem mm. Mm -hmm. and now even even to, to, t to today they're still having problems now my cousins, I haven't seen them for like 10 years. Oh my God. Know. I don't know. I yeah, don't that's cousins. horrible. That's and, horrible. And they're, they're getting conflicts between each other. Mm. So all of, and they live in Woodburn, Portland. I stay in Salem, so I don't. That's how I feel too. Yeah. So I grew up in Hillsboro. Uh -huh. My parents moved from my childhood house in Hillsboro. Okay. They up and left and moved to this house. Uh -huh. Didn't tell me and told everybody that I knew, everybody I grew up with that I abandoned my son but wouldn't give me the address and told it. Yeah, that's what happened uh -huh. to my dad. They, yeah. were, they wanted to take me away from my dad. And uh. my dad was gonna leave to uh, Mexico because he did it. He said that they, did it. they were gonna arrest him. They were threatening him. Mm. And it was like my uncle, there had like five uncles, and five aunts. Yeah, man, so that's he, alienation, dude. Yeah. Um, yeah, which one did I give you? Let me see. And even so today, my mom still doesn't understand and that's, that's, that's a problem, you know? We'll show her these. Yeah, There's will. so much and you can look it up. So okay. April 25th is Pearl Nation Awareness Day. Okay. So I was out here April 25th. I come out here a lot. Yeah. Royal blue is the color of the child. Yeah. And um, I feel like I need to give this to you. <laughs> you're, you're what? Maybe a 2X? XO. Shit. I have another one at home. What do you think? Too small? Because do you want it? Oh, sure. <laughs> um, yeah. You can um, research online, Pearl Nation Awareness Day. It's all out there. Public officials don't know what it is. Yeah. Like when I called 911, the dispatch, they didn't come out and talk to me. They're like, oh, well, they can have your kid for up to two weeks before it's considered kidnapping. They were in on it, but I didn't know at the time. And um, 
they don't know what PA is, and that's part of the problem. I come out here all the time. I've been protesting for years. Cops come out, and they try to tell me what to do. I have a bullhorn. They try to tell me to stop it. We're in the state capitol. I can legally use the bullhorn. They're just mad that I can protest what pieces of shits they are, but I'm mad they took my fucking kid from me. You know? Yeah, it's fair game. Yeah. So there you go, dude. You yeah, have a term so for it. You know what it is. Mom, yeah. Yes, well, absolutely. You, you can look it, it up. Yeah. Absolutely, man. I'm so sorry. No, no, well, I don't know. I don't know what you've been through, but all I can say that, you know, like, maybe your parents won't change, but hopefully in the I future, wish. No, but hopefully in the future, they will. Because I'll tell you from, from my point, I went to Waldo and I went to North Salem, and my mindset was different to what it is now. Back, back then, I might, I might, I, I would have probably wouldn't stop and to see what. So right. Now I grow up. Oh, I see. You see. Oh yeah. Hopefully, you know, like, but you know, like. Well, like, that's what, what I'm afraid of. Yeah. I feel like they're gonna die before they try to make amends. I know that sounds morbid, but it's the truth. They come out here and they ignore me. They laugh at me. They don't talk to me. I'm their motherfucking kid, dude. So it's it's um. Oh, that's my train of thought. I'm sorry. Um. No, no, <laughs> I wanted to leave you my email. Okay. Uh. A lot of people are going through it, but they don't know what the term is. And that's exactly why I'm doing what I'm doing, to try to raise awareness. And there's so many people out and about. We're changing laws. There's people in Texas. There's people in California, all over the country. I talk to people who are in France. I don't mean, they don't even speak English, Bonjour. but we use Google Translate. No, <laughs> let me see that. So here, I'm going to give you my email address. 